Guys, my new toy has arrived, finally. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> that is intense. Hey guys, Mitch here. Welcome back to Mesa Mods. In this episode, we're unboxing my new Logitech Pro racing wheel and pedals. We're gonna install them on the racing rig and give my initial impressions, first, first impressions, and initial review. Stick around, let's get into it. Okay guys, I've been waiting for this for a little bit. So you guys are gonna get the first view of this as I get it. So you'll get the full unboxing experience as if you've just purchased one for yourself. I must say the boxes are quite nice, like cardboard, nice and nice engraving or embossing. What's this thing? McLaren, sign up for the G challenge. Maybe we will. Oh, okay, that's your destruction manual. Oh, here we go, the wheel. Oh, that already feels nice. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, but listen. This thing's got some heft to it. Look at that bad boy. It is solid. No flex, it's got a good amount of weight to it. Quick release. That is nice. I am excited, this has just made it even more exciting. So is this, instructions, stickers. You might have to put that bad boy on the uh, on the race rig somewhere. I kind of wish it was black though. Oh, this is the actual base. All right, oh my Lord. All right, we might have to take a bit more of the packaging out for this. This thing weighs a metric ton. Oh my Lord. It comes in like a pillowcase. I would laugh if that was actually a pillowcase. All right, let's flip him upside down. This thing has got, oh my lord, some substantial weight to it. God, nearly dropped it already. I'm glad to see we've got some nice peels coming. More peels, a big peel. That is heavy. What are you doing, Dex? You guys wanna see what's making all this noise? You? Bringing your squeaky toys in while filming a video. Hmm? It's a good thing you're cute. All right, we've got the last little bit that I think, I think it's the last little bit. Oh, there's some stuff in this as well. No, nope, that one's empty. This one will be all your cables and stuff, I imagine. All right, what does this come with? We get... What is that? All right, that's your table clamp. It's plastic, but it feels like pretty good quality. And then we've also got our power supply, power cable, and the one I just threw on the floor, a nice long USB, which looks like a micro USB. Hopefully that shows up on the camera. Maybe not. But yeah, that's a nice long cable. And it feels like good quality, which you'd wanna hope so for the amount of money you pay for this. All right, that is box number one. The second box will be the pedals. And I don't know how much assembly is involved in that. Should we uh, put the wheel on the base? What do you think? No, we'll wait. We'll wait till the end. All right, here we go, box number two, which might actually be on its side. I gotta give it to uh, Logitech. Their packaging is really quite nice. What is this? More stickers and USB, micro USB cables, and probably some instructions, which I probably should read at some point. Ooh, okay. We get an extra set of springs. I'm assuming they might be heavier. I'm not sure. And that looks like dampers and maybe some lubricant. Maybe for the brake pedal. 
Not 100% sure, might have to read up on that. I guess there's nothing else to it. Slide him out. Oh my lord. Sorry, nearly knocked you over. These things are also quite heavy, considering it's plastic for the most part. Like, it is metal in the construction on this as well. Let's just move that away a bit. Crack that up like that. Alright, hopefully you guys can see all of this. I can't see the camera. Ooh. Wow. You guys probably can't see it yet, but I can. And it looks freaking sick. All right, this is a lot, a lot nicer than what I was expecting to come out of this. I'll get you guys down for some close-ups. Four peels for the price of one. Hey guys, before we get much further, I just gotta say the quality on this is so much better than I was expecting. Like I knew it was gonna be dice, don't get me wrong. Like when you pay that, that much money for something like you expect a certain level of quality to it, but like everything in this, I mean, I know there were complaints about it being made out of plastic instead of metal construction, but all the important parts are made out of metal, like everything's got a good weight to it. I don't know if it's the musician in me where generally music gear, if it's got weight to it, it's generally better. All the cheap, crappy stuff is generally quite lightweight. This thing weighs a metric ton. The pedals, like everything just feels like premium quality feel to it. Like, yeah, I knew it was gonna be good, but I wasn't expecting it to be this good. But yeah, well, um, I'm gonna have a quick snack and then I'll put it all together and then we'll try and install it on the race rig and see how it doesn't fit. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. This is Dexter, he's come to help us set up for the day. Yes, I love a sweet man. He's a clingy old boy. Here we go. The first fit. Do I have to like... How does this work? Evidently not that way. Oh, okay. Try this again. The first fit. I think she's on. I was honestly expecting like a click or something, but nope. Wheel officially on base. Sweet. All right, I think before we start pulling this apart, I think we give this one last lap just to get a final feel for it. I feel like that's a fitting way to send off an old friend. Hopefully this doesn't end in a big crash because it usually does. I said, the old girl's done quite well for the last few years. She hasn't had the easiest life. Got used on a drift rig for a while there. Was running a full size wheel for a bit there, which I don't think the motor enjoyed too much. Might be why it's a little bit noisy now when the vibration kicks in, but I know all Logitechs kind of make a fair bit of noise with that. Hell yeah, this is going well. Oh, that's not. <laughs> oh, I think that's gonna do it. We were three seconds up. Now that the final race was over and done with, 
it was time to start removing the G29 to make room for the Logitech Pro wheel. It's worth noting that not all pedals and wheels are the same and that most of the hardware that was used for the G29 did not actually fit the Logitech Pro wheel. So this here is the base of the new one. Your USB plugs into here. So it's a little bit awkward to get to, but it's got nice channel runs, cable runs out the side. So I don't think that's gonna be an issue. You can also see here, there's like a ruler printed into the plastic. That's so you can actually adjust your pedals. So you can move their position, which is good. I don't know if I'm gonna move them right now. I think they're in a pretty good spot as is. They're just equally spaced apart here. But if you were interested in trying to do a bit more on the heel toe stuff and you wanted these to be close together, you can undo two bolts in the back and then slide it left and right. All right, we need to put the USB in first. Boom, there's the end, there we go. I run all Logitech stuff on my PC as well and they've all gone to this, it's just a, US, a micro USB, but they shape the, the rubber housing bit that goes around it so it only fits their stuff, which I guess is smart from there end because it means when you need to find replacements, you can only buy their stuff. Next question. Will it use the same size hardware? Will, but this bolt is really long. All right, that's not filling me with confidence. We may need to find a smaller bolt. All righty guys, back, I got some smaller bolts. I've always got a good collection of just random bolts in the uh, garage. Just dust it off a little. All right, let's try this again. I feel like I'm going to need more screws for this because if I don't have to use the table clamp, I really don't want to. Also really hoping that it's actually going to fit on this wheel deck because that's not always a guarantee. Number two bolt. There we go, I think. Yeah, that should be it. Oh, I look like I'm in a ghost film. Hello. And hopefully over the next little bit, Logitech's gonna come out with some peripherals for this, uh, like a proper shifter and a handbrake, holding out for that. Whether or not they do or don't, I don't know. We are free from the G29. We need to try and find out. Oh. Weighs a freaking ton. We've got three holes. We might be unlucky. You'll notice as this bit goes on, I had the same issues I had with the pedals where only one of the original bolts that were in the G29 would actually fit into this wheel. The two at the back required shorter bolts, which thankfully I had left around in the garage. All right, let's try again. What are you doing in here, boy? Oh. This whole alternating bolt size thing is proving to be more of a pain than I was expecting. Yes, hello. What are you doing? Hi. They're not the right bolts, but they work. They're in. Once I crank them up, this thing's not gonna go anywhere. What are you doing? Oh, I just got crop dusted by the dog. There we go. This one on. Alrighty. I'm gonna put the other thing. There we go. Now we're cooking. We are secured. Yeah, look at that. It's not going anywhere. Oh, where did I put? Yes. Oh, 
done. Hello, Dexter. Goofy boy. Oh, it broke. It's worth the money just for the amount of peels you get to do. We're not hooked up yet, but we are officially mounted. So smooth in comparison. The pedals have a lot more movement. It definitely sits higher than the previous one. Ooh. That is satisfying. <laughs> yes. Let's uh, get some power to it. Hook the USB up and take it for a spin. If you guys have played on Logitech stuff before, you know that it's always had the little like cross hat thing, like the up, down, left, right buttons, like the old PlayStation controllers. This one has like a, I don't know, it feels like a joystick off like a drone thing or like an up remote control car controller, but it actually like, you just click it side to side and it'll move. It's kind of nice actually. And then, okay. And the buttons are in slightly, it's same, same, but different. Okay guys, first race. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> that is intense. All right, this feels nothing like the G29 did. Oh my lord. Okay guys, that wraps up part one. Make sure you stick around for part two where we get hands on. I'll give you my initial thoughts and feelings on what this thing's like to actually drive.